Hi, it's Omega Parks. Today I will show you how to render this Minecraft build with Octane Render in Cinema 4D. So first I export my OBJ with Mineways and I directly import it in Cinema 4D. Then when it's imported, I simply delete all the materials here and on the Object Manager. Then I can start Octane. I plug it on one of the side and I will create a new material. So you can create a diffuse material for this build because it's not really a complex one. But if you want to add some specularity, you just need to double click on it and change its, uh, its default presets. So the glossy one with will add some specularity but for now we only use uh, the diffuse one um, actually we only need those presets so I will plug um, so I will plug this first image the RGBA and the opacity to have some opacity variation in the glass and the foliage for example I change the sampling to none and I drag it on my OBJ then we only need to load one material instead of many many other ones then I click on the Octane logo to load the render as you can see it's pretty fast because we don't have any light or path tracing so to create a sunlight you need to click on object light octane daylight and you will see that it's like a rig you can move it and it will it will simply change the the way the, the light is projected with the sky so if you want a sunset light, you can do like that. I will search for an interesting uh, light position. What I want to do is light this part of the image. So I think like this is okay. And I will change the path tracing kernel to path tracing. Then I will try to find an interesting camera angle. I think something like this is pretty good. Um, I can't really see the delimitation between my image and what is not rendered. So I will press Shift V, then click on View, and change the opacity to 90%. Then I just need to update the viewport like this, and you can see that the opacity is changed. Um, now I need to fill the gaps between the left and the right. For that I will duplicate my ob object by clicking on it and pressing Ctrl. Then I drag it up. It's creating a, a copy of it. Then I will simply create like a city around it. I will duplicate again. So now what's bothering me is the leaves on this side um, so now you can see that the focus of the image is maybe on the middle of the image because there is not a lot of shadows so what i will do is simply duplicate once again this build and scale it up like 300% to have a blocking light like that so this build is way less uh, lighted as you can see here so the main focus is this building uh, I could add some shadows to this building too 
but I think I will do that with um, a fog or maybe a VDB. So a VDB is more like a fire or a smoke simulation. Uh, you can download some presets on internet really easily. You just need to to type open VDB cloud. You can buy some really high res one or simply download some some on the internet. And as you can see, you can't see the the cloud because I believe that this cloud was created in Maya or another software that is using a different measuring unit. So I will switch from meter to kilometer. Then you can see that the, the cloud is way more big. My cloud is maybe too much uh, gray. So to modify a cloud, a cloud density, you need to click on its medium, then maybe change its density to three and change the absorption and the scattering so something maybe white and white So now that I'm happy with my scene, I will simply undock this scene, uh, the the live the Octane Live Viewer, and I will lock my camera by pressing right click and rigging tag protection. So then I cannot move my camera anymore. And then we'll play a bit with the materials. So I can see that the leaves and just the leaves are a bit weird. So I will create a new materials for the leaves. Then I just need to drop this material on the leaves, just like that. Now I think that I like the scene, but I will play a bit more with Octane camera tag to simply add a denoiser. So in the camera image, you enable a denoiser. So actually it's a really light scene because the render is rendering pretty okay at around 15 seconds. Um, but with more complex scenes, uh, you would maybe need uh, to add some denoiser to reduce the render time. For example, with 250 samples, it can reach like 10 minutes of render time and you will have still some noise. And you can see that there is some noise on the clouds and a bit on your shadows. But if you click on the main denoiser, this is the render path. You can see that it's noise free actually. Then I will play a bit with the, the colors of the scene. Um, in the camera imager, I will change the response to... Uh, generally, I, I use this one. So basically, you, you just need to, to play with all the settings till you have something that, that you like. Don't play too much with highlight compression because it's reducing the the color range of your white and don't crank too much the hot pixel removal because it will blur your image. So now that I'm, I'm pretty happy with my image, I will show you how to render it. So you go into your render settings and change your renderer and enable render passes. Um, I want to modify my image in Photoshop so it's the PSD that needs to be enabled. I want to save the beauty. Um, my color space is sRGB and not linear. And I want it to be tone mapped. If 
I want the exposure and my response to be take into account. Um, I will add the row pass and a post pass and I want the denoised beauty. So basically you only need those three but you can add way more render passes if you need them. Then I will select the location. And here is how I do a Minecraft render in around 20 to 30 minutes. 